In this video, we're going to be talking about the basics of Amazon DynamoDB. DynamoDB is a fully managed NoSQL database service that provides fast and predictable performance with seamless scalability. DynamoDB lets you offload the administrative burdens of operating and scaling a distributed database so that you don't have to worry about hardware provisioning, setup and configuration, replication, software patching, or cluster scaling. Also, DynamoDB offers encryption at rest, which eliminates the operational burden and complexity involved in protecting sensitive data. With DynamoDB, you can create database tables that can store and retrieve any amount of data and serve any level of request traffic. You can also scale up or scale down your table's throughput capacity without downtime or performance degradation, and use the Management Console to monitor resource utilization and performance metrics. Amazon DynamoDB provides on-demand backup capability. It allows you to create full backups of your tables for long-term retention and archival for regulatory compliance needs. You can also create on-demand backups as well as enable point-in-time recovery for your DynamoDB tables. Point-in-time recovery helps protect your DynamoDB tables from accidental write or delete operations. With point-in-time recovery, you can restore that table to any point in time during the last 35 days. DynamoDB automatically spreads the data and traffic for your tables over a sufficient number of servers to handle your throughput and storage requirements while maintaining consistent and fast performance. All of your data is stored on solid-state disks and automatically replicated across multiple availability zones in an AWS region providing built-in high availability and data durability. You can also use global tables to keep DynamoDB tables in sync across AWS regions. And finally, in this video, I'd like to talk about the few basic DynamoDB components. And the first are tables. Similar to other database systems, DynamoDB stores data in tables. A table is a collection of data. Each table also stores one or more items. An item is a group of attributes that is uniquely identifiable among all of the other items. For example, in this users table, each item represents a user. For a cars table, each item would represent one vehicle. Items in DynamoDB are similar in many ways to rows, records, or tuples in other database systems. In DynamoDB, there is no limit to the number of items you can store in a table. And finally, there are attributes. Each item is composed of one or more attributes. An attribute is a fundamental data element, something that does not need to be broken down any further. For example, an item in a people table might contain attributes called person ID, last name, first name, and so on. For a department table, an item might have attributes such as department ID, name, and manager. Attributes in DynamoDB are similar in many ways to fields or columns in other database systems. You can see, for example, here that for our users table, each user has two attributes, a user ID and a name. Note the following about this example table. Each item in this table has a unique identifier or primary key that distinguishes the item from all of the others in the table. In this table, the primary key consists of one attribute, person ID. Also, note that other than the primary key of person ID, this table is schemaless, which means that neither the attributes nor their data types need to be defined beforehand. Each item can have its own distinct attributes. For example, while person 101 has a last name, first name, and phone, it doesn't have an address like Mary Jones. And while Mary Jones has an address, she doesn't have a favorite color like Howard Stevens. Also notice that most of the attributes on this table are scalar, which means that they can only have one value. Strings and numbers are common examples of scalars. Also notice that some of these items have a nested attribute in the form of an address. DynamoDB supports nested attributes up to 32 levels deep. Now note the following about this music table. 
Notice that the primary key for music consists of two attributes, both the artist and the song title. Each item in the table must have these two attributes. The combination of artist and song title distinguishes each item in the table from all others. Also notice that the music table is schemaless, which means that again, neither the attributes nor their data types need to be defined beforehand. Each item can have its own distinct attributes. And once again, notice that we have nested attributes, which again can be 32 levels deep. And that'll wrap it up for this introduction to Amazon DynamoDB. So if all of that made sense, then feel free to move on.